Hey everybody, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, it is Christmas Day. My name is David Kenny. I'm the pastor of Walden Church. We've been doing devotionals here on YouTube all through the month of December, looking at the various ornaments that are on our Christmas tree. And today, we're gonna look at the Star of Bethlehem. And today I just decided, you know, I just wanna read the Christmas story for you. I just wanna read it for you. So if you will indulge me, Matthew 2 verses one through 13. Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star when it rose, and we have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And assembling all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it is written by the prophet, And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod summoned the wise men secretly and ascertained from them what time the star had appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, Bring me word that I too may go and worship him. After listening to the king, they went on their way, and behold, the star that they had seen when it rose went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy, and going into the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and worshiped him. Then, opening their treasures, they offered him gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed to their own country by another way. Now, it's impossible for us to know how long the wise men traveled, since we don't even know where they originally came from. Uh, in doing some study this week and thinking about Christmas, I, I read one scholar who said it could have been as long as two years but most researchers feel the wise men uh, came from Persia. Verse one says that they were from the east. And Persia is about a thousand miles from Bethlehem. Second, I know we always think of three wise men, but we're fairly certain that these people would have traveled in a much larger group. You're gonna take a long journey like that. You probably travel in a caravan and that's always safer to travel in numbers. And so when you're in a large group like that, you're probably gonna travel only as fast as your slowest person. So maybe a trip to uh, Bethlehem from Persia might take about a month. So this caravan, they're following the star, right? They're following that star and that was their navigation. That was their compass. But it was also their encouragement, right? It was their encouragement to keep on going. You ever grown tired? and needed a little encouragement, I think we've all been there this year. How wonderful that the symbol for Christmas is a star and what that symbol is for us, that encouragement to keep on going. I think that when you are feeling discouraged and feeling like you've lost your way, you don't know which direction to go, seeing a sign is encouraging. You know, a sign says you're still on the right road. The sign says, you know, you haven't missed your exit, don't worry. Signs like that, they do more than give us direction. They bring hope. If you're wondering if you're lost, if you're wondering if you're on the right path, the sign of Jesus lets you know that you're going in the right direction. You're not lost. Keep going. We all need hope, don't we? If I could offer you a Christmas gift today, it would be hope. I don't think we need hope just at Christmas. I think we need hope all year long because it's easy to see a manger, right? And then we miss the little baby inside of it. The, the manger is scratchy and it's filled with hay and it's made from crude slabs of wood. I mean, it's poor, it's uncomfortable. But despite the poor conditions that Jesus was born into, when you watch a Christmas play, you don't see any sad faces. The shepherds are up there and they're filled with joy. 
The wise men have hope, and Mary's heart is full of treasure. Why is that? Well, because the manger was just the setting of the story. The focus of the story is hope. Jeremiah 29 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. You know, people who have witnessed the work of Christ in their lives are often filled the most with hope. I mean, yes, of course, the star in the sky, it was direction. It pulled them forward, it took them down the road, it guided them and took them closer to Jesus. But the role of the Christmas star was more than guidance. It was for hope. May you have hope this year. May you have hope next year. And if you need more hope in your life, that I would invite you to find a church. Find a church, plug in, become a part of that community, serve and give. And I promise you, you will receive just as much in return. I pray you find hope. Merry Christmas.